Hi, and welcome to another Typo Light screencast from Winans Creative. Today we're going to talk about a great feature of Typo Light, uh, something that is really helpful for designers and uh, just web uh, developers in general. Um, the ability to just have total control over your style sheets that are generated uh, through Typo Light. Uh, store the style sheet records, uh, individual selectors in uh, a database, and uh, it allows you to do a lot more with them. And, and Type Light generates your style sheets automatically, uh, w which is really nice, and it allows you to do various things that we'll go through here. Uh, if you click on style sheets, you'll see we have a list of style sheets. I've already got several in here, um, but you have the option here to either do a CSS import of an existing CSS file. Uh, if you select that, basically you'll have the option to select uh, CSS files that you've uploaded to uh, either through the file manager or FTP to your site and be able to pull those in. Uh, basically, Typo Lite will read those and pull each one in, each, each selector uh, in as a uh, database record so that you can go in and edit it. Um, you can also just create a new style sheet from scratch by clicking New Style Sheet. Let's uh, create a new one here called My Style Sheet. Um, you'll see here we have the option to insert uh, Internet Explorer specific conditional comments from you know IE8 all the way down to uh, IE6 or even just Internet Explorer in general, as well as media types from things like all print projection screen. We're going to select screen for this one. And if we save and edit that, we have the option now to, we have our blank style sheet, we have the option here to insert a new format definition. I'm just going to add one real quick in here. And uh, you can see here we're presented with kind of a typo light uh, interface that allows us to go in and edit various CSS properties. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, we see here we have our selector in which we can set up our IDs and classes and tags and references. Um, so let's create a new uh, my style uh, selector in there. Uh, this box here, you can assign the style a category so that you can filter those through a drop down menu uh, in the, the back end navigation, which I'll show you in a second. It's really handy for um, just kind of organizing your CSS so that when you want to go back and edit it, you can find things really quickly. Uh, there's also a search function to you can search by selector and things like that um, that makes it easy to, to find uh, large things within large style sheets very quickly as well. Uh, you can insert a comment in here. Um, you know, this style controls my layout uh, so that you can go back and uh, see what you've been referencing uh, as far as the style goes. And then besides that, you can see it's broken down into various CSS uh, sections containing various uh, CSS properties. Uh, we have size and position, which when you check that, it pulls a uh, interface here that allows you to adjust things like the width, the height, uh, select various units of measurement as well, uh, position, position type, float, left, right, none, clear, left, right, none, both, uh, overflow properties, display, uh, block, inline, none, and things like that. Um, then further down we have the margin padding and alignment section where you can specify uh, top, right, bottom, left properties for the margin and the padding along with uh, various units of measurement. Uh, element alignment, left, center, and right, these will override your margin settings over here um, and just kind of do things like float left, flow right, uh, or center uh, based on the margin left and right properties above. Um, then you have vertical alignment for things like table cells, uh, text alignment, left, center, right, justified. Background settings, this is really cool actually. The, the Be able to just assign a background color through this little color picker. Uh, similar to those of you who are familiar with Photoshop's color picker, it pretty much works the same way. Uh, reads out the hex value for the colors that you select and you can go through the different hues and saturations and plug in the RGB values if you want to do that. Um, select and it drops that color in there for you. Uh, being able to pick a background image for a given style here is really cool as well. Uh, click the icon, you get a pop-up of all the files that are listed on your site and those can be inserted directly into uh, the property there. Background position, pretty straightforward, left top, left center, left bottom, center top, center bottom, uh, all down the line, whether or not the background repeats. Uh, border settings, uh, top right, bottom left border, styles, uh, solid dotted dashed, uh, etc. 
border color again the color picker here really quick and easy to do that and uh, border handling collapse are separate as well font settings here's your font family field font size with various units units of measurement uh, color with a color picker line height as well uh, styles such as bold italic normal underlined etc uh, line feed properties as well list settings whether or not you want to use a uh, various list symbols or uh, use the ability to select a custom list symbol from your list of type of light files as well here and obviously there's plenty more CSS properties uh, than these listed so we've actually added a, there's a, a nice little custom code box down here that you can uh, drop those uh, extra properties in there as well um, so now that we've created that style you can see Typo light formats it and this is how it's going to get rendered out in the style sheet and if we happen to you know because this is listed uh, in a database kind of entry format we can create another style uh, just like that and you can see typo lights drag and drop to reorder uh, how those uh, styles are fitting here you can see then we have our filters up here you can see we, we created that category uh, my styles we can be able to filter those down as well uh, as well as search through our various CSS styles very handy um, some other things to note about <coughs> style sheets you can see we have a whole bunch of those uh, set up here uh, if you name your style sheet uh, let's rename this one from my style sheet to actually basic. Um, there, there's some style sheets that are used by uh, system uh, level controls such as the, the, the tiny MCE editor. Uh, if you name your style sheet basic then the styles that you create in the basic style sheet will then be uh, available to you on your tiny MCE editor and I can show you that real quick right here. Uh, if we go in and edit this you can see there's a styles drop down you can see here's my, the, the my style class that we created. We can then select our text and be able to essentially apply that style directly in here. And it's uh, handy for being able to uh, quickly create some user-friendly styles that uh, clients can probably just pick from really quickly uh, in this drop-down as well. And again, it's all managed through the database. So. Uh, that uh, makes it really quick and easy. Uh, other types of sheets, uh, style sheets that uh, have system relevance here are, uh, you can name one called newsletter and uh, that one gets pulled into your HTML emails uh, when you send out uh, e emails through the, H the, the newsletter module in Typo Lite. Um, that's always available for reference and then those styles that you set up in the newsletter module get applied to your HTML email. Um, so that's pretty much the basics. Um, again, it's a really nice feature uh, to be able to just kind of go in and from a development perspective uh, makes it typo light kind of the, the only platform I really need to go in and start creating a website. Once I've chopped up my images, I go into the style sheet editor and I can just uh, kind of do things from there or if I decide to build things kind of offline, I have the ability to just build my style sheet uh, in another program and then simply <coughs> import it to the system using CSS import and it works uh, really nice and uh, quickly and easily and hopefully that gives you a good overview of what things are all about and stay tuned for another type of light screencast from Wine and Screencast.